and has been quite an undertaking. It's been plagued by delays. To talk about that some more, let's bring in former prosecutor, now defense attorney, B.J. Bernstein. B.J., great to see you. Good to see you, and it's kind of strange to be here back on this because that very day on March 11th, to, um, over two and a half years ago, I was here talking to you then about being in shock about what happened here in Atlanta. I mean, we couldn't believe that it was happening just uh, outside of, of our building. And, and then he, there he was on CNN surveillance tape uh, in our parking lot, and, and we were getting into our cars and going home. Now, BJ, uh, all these years later, what has taken so long? What has the, why has there been such a holdup with regard to this case? The, this case has been snake bitten from the start in terms of, you know, first of all, you had a crime that occurred at the courthouse here in Atlanta. So the question is, could you have the trial at the very location where the crime occurred? Then you had issues with who was going to be his lawyer because he had to have a public defender. And all of us who practice here in Atlanta knew and loved Judge Barnes. So they had to get somebody from out of state. And then, of course, with the death penalty, it slows the case down. And then, finally, we had the removal of the judge who was appointed to hear the case um, because he felt uncomfortable with some conversations he had with CNN's Jeffrey Tubin. So it, we've had everything that could happen in this case, plus the state public defender system um, financing for this case. It's become very expensive. That's what I was going to say. His defense uh, up to this point already costing $2 million. It's pretty much wiped out the state defender's uh, public office uh, capabilities. So how is this going to affect other cases? I mean, this is finally getting underway, but what about other trials that need to go forward? You know, that's been a dispute here in Georgia, and still there's a dispute going on in terms of state funding for the public defender system in general. And what happens when this could happen in any state where there's a catastrophic crime that takes a lot of more effort and it bankrupts the system. So that's still to be determined how it's going to affect everybody else. Now, his lawyers are going for insanity to save him from the death penalty. Death penalty, is that going to work? Well, it's delusional compulsion, which is interesting because it's not just your typical insanity you don't know right from wrong. It actually means that he suffers from a mental illness such that it kind of took him over and control, he couldn't control his actions. That is probably the most difficult type of insanity to show. And it's going to be very curious to see what, because remember, this went on for hours. It's not like he just ran into the courtroom. He ran into the courtroom. He committed carjackings. He shot the deputy in the street. He ran by here at CNN. He ended up killing David Wilhelm, the federal agent, at his home many miles away, and then ended up in the suburbs of Atlanta holding hostage um, Ashley. So, you know, it's hard to show that that went on for that many days. So it'll be interesting to hear as the case unfolds. And, and that's an interesting point to, to wrap with. We're going to actually uh, hear from Ashley Smith uh, coming up in the next hour of the CNN Newsroom BJ. I mean, she was the one that was held captive in her own apartment from Brian Nichols. And she says she started preaching to him, reading uh, The Purpose Driven Life, and, and he bought it, and, and, he, and he humbled himself, and, and he was able to turn himself in. I mean, that would fit with this uh, type of insanity plea that you're explaining. Well, that's what the defense is certainly going to say. That, and that's another reason why this trial is going to go on so long, because, you know, everybody here in Atlanta goes, well, we know he did it. You know, everybody saw it unfold. But they're going to go through each piece of the evidence, bit by bit, with the defense trying to say, and that shows why he's insane. B.J. Bernstein, great to see you. Thanks, Kira. All right.